another episode of FLX Beer Reviews. <laughs> and the beers are all okay. Yeah. I'm Mike. I'm trying to get this all in one breath. Oh, oh boy. Damn. <laughs> what are we drinking? <laughs> Mike, this is a beer from the Pipe Dream Brewing Company mm. in London, Derry, New uh, Hampshire. Derry. New Hampshire. Maybe that's wrong. Uh, this is their homegrown, a popsicle sour ale. Sour ale with raspberries, cherries, and key lime. And for all intents and purposes, because they can't say it, but we can, it's a damn bomb pop. Hello! Hey yeah, that's a great looking uh, So this is in like collaboration it. with uh, Homegrown Barber Co. All right. Uh, okay. In order to promote success yeah. in our local community, stand. Pipe Dream Brewing is partnering with the small local businesses. This is a popsicle pop. Popsicle sour ale is a shout out to London Dairy's own homegrown barbecue. All right. So uh contains fresh fruit, 5% ABV. Um no canned on date. That's okay. It's probably fresh though. Well, we know it's fresh because we were lucky enough to receive a box of beer from uh Pipe Dream Brewing. That's what I was And uh, we are 100% Appreciative, and Absolutely. we always appreciate anybody sending any beer for us to uh, try. So. We've already had a, a bunch of them, and uh, I'm really looking forward to this one. So, yeah. uh, again, but seriously, we, 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 yeah, we advocate advocate uh -huh. for dates on can. Oh, absolutely, yeah, we we like dates, but we were assured these are fresh. So, and we've we've had no reason not to trust Pipe Dream Brewing. Right, they haven't wronged us yet. Um, well, I mean, technically, I think what started this was we were wrong. Not intentionally. Not intentionally. So, that looks, that looks fruity and juicy. Uh, I mean, it doesn't look like a bomb pop. I was really expecting like three different colors. Exactly, like three different that. layers. But, you know. So that's my rating's already gone down. Yeah. You lose five points. just Pretty much. Uh, you're so this beer's zero. Whoa. Next time on Beer Reviews. <laughs> this is it. It's <laughs> over. <laughs> um, look at that the... Is... It's leaving all sorts of like little pectins all over Let my glass here. Uh, well, Squirtle and all them are covering the... Oh, there's some pe pectin. Yeah. I was going to say pectin. Pectin AC. Soft arouse already. It looks great. It's a very like... Um, I, I blackberry, a raspberry kind of color, like a little blueberry in no, there. It looks, yeah, it looks like if you if you took actual like berries, blended them up. Yeah, and, and they were, like a I think so too. Uh, let's get a whiff on this. Thing. Yeah, let's get an official whiff. Oh, <sighs> that's a straight popsicle. Like that's not just like fruit, and we're hoping it comes popsicle. That's a popsicle. Yeah, that's the melted popsicle juice all over you. I hand. think I'm even getting like the wood. <laughs> you know is what I mean? Is there a joke in there on the... Yeah, is there a joke on the popsicle stick? Um, hey, Mike, what do you call a cow with no legs? I don't know, Dan. Ground beef? I got that off a stick on the bomb, bomb pop one time. See? There you go. I've this never, is the kind of... I've never forgot it. Either. Entertainment value we bring. In fact, that's my go-to, like, dad joke. I like it. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that smells delicious. <sighs> it does... It, it reminds... It, this takes you back. This takes you back to like the ice cream truck is going by. Ding, ding. And you're like, you're running, you're like, Mom, Dad, I need a dollar. The ice cream guy's gonna go, hurry up. And they're going to the person. No, Mom, they're gonna leave. We gotta, we gotta hurry. And like, you start throwing the temper tantrum, and but you get your dollar and you run out there. You're flagging them down. And they're like, what do you want? And you can't decide between the bomb pop and like the catcher's mitt with the bubblegum baseball in the middle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then ultimately you did choose that one one time and you were disappointed. So yeah. now you've learned your lesson. You knew, you knew. You've gone back to the mom pop. And sure. you and you get it. It's the middle of summer and you open the wrapper and that waft. Oh yeah. And that's exactly what I'm getting here. I I completely agree. Hope there, you enjoyed our story. There was a nice like it's so fruit juicy. Like juicy juice, kind of fruit juicy. Oh yeah. Juicy juice, that's popsicle aroma. aroma. It's very appealing. Like the <laughs> cherry is like, it's almost like a Luden's. Luden's cherry? Ah, uh, yeah, that too. Like a lifesaver cherry? Now, I'm not getting any like hair clippings or Barbasol in this. So I'm not really sure where the, the barber company comes into play, but maybe on the, the, the flavor. Oh, you silly goose. 
Got a little bit of that uh, that lube they lube up the trimmers with. Oh, maybe that's in there. I got Cheers. It. Cheers. Thanks, Pipe Dream. Thanks, Pipe Dream. That Give me a minute to acclimate. That is a tart flavor blast. Very tart. <laughs> uh, popsicle sticks kind of come through. I'm sorry, that's the first flavor note I got. It was a piece of wood. I can taste the joke, though. Do you have a favorite joke from popsicle sticks? I don't. I, I wish I did. And I used to love those. I used to keep them. Like, you know, I had like a wad of those things. Uh, that can be funny. They'll never doubt me again. And you, you just go in the corner. You, it's like a deck of cards. With the <laughs> You're fanning them out. Like, oh, you think there's ever been a, a stand-up comic that started with that as their routine? Like, this, I got this wad of popsicle stick jokes. I'm going to go out there. I'm going to make something of myself. And, like, the marquee is like, please welcome David Pumpkin, a.k.a. the Popsicle Bandit. <laughs> If that was it, I would I would buy a ticket to that show hands down. Old Dave Pumpkin and his popsicle oh, jokes. What, co what comic was the closest thing to a popsicle to popsicle stick joke? I think oh, Mitch Hedberg. No, I mean well, well sort no, of. no, no, because that's kind of what I was thinking of. Like your Rodney Dangerfield, your Mitch Hedberg, right, like right. one-liners. Yeah, yeah, like something that would fit on a popsicle. Boy, stick. Mitch Hedberg, that guy, Hedberg. that guy was a gem. I uh, God bless his so soul. Much, yeah. Uh, you should really go check out Mitch Hedberg. If you've never watched Mitch Hedberg, just YouTube it. It's, yeah. It's fantastic. I love Mitch Hedberg. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> beer. <laughs> this is fantastic. I don't understand why they say you're blocking a fire exit. Hey man, I've got legs. I'm never <laughs> blocking a fire exit. <laughs> What's, what, he's like, What's up with Kit Kat? They stole chocolate from me. I want that chocolate back. <laughs> where they stamped the Kit Kat. Now you just got me thinking about Mitch Hedberg <laughs> jokes. <laughs> so he, 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 I finished up I, writing a report to hand it to my boss. They said, hey, that's good. Can you uh, rewrite it for me? He said, fuck that. I'll make a copy. <laughs> I, just I, don't, that I, I don't understand how an escalator could ever be out of order. Then they just become stairs. stairs yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I went to go buy a donut. They wanted to give me a receipt. I said, I don't think I need a receipt to prove I enjoy a donut. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Anyway. Anyway. Pipe Dream is like, never, ever again. We've made a huge mistake. Yes. All right. Um, no, it's it's very tart. Uh, almost acidic mm. to a certain point, but it then is. in comes that sweet cherry flavor with that uh, that hint of lime. Yeah, I was going to say lime kind of follows it right behind. Um, it's a it is a I'm getting the acid reflux, but man, it is a a nice vibrant tart yeah. summertime flavor it, to this. It's a candied cherry. It is. A I can, candied raspberry. I can see where a whole can of this might get a little a little yeah for, sweet. For I'm one. happy to share this much. I'm happy to share it as well. Um, mm. that's delicious for what they say it is uh, pop and pop. Uh, you know I gotta throw the rating out there for what they say it is you know give it like a 475 yeah uh, personal preference just cause my uh, you know I'm a walking Prilosec kind of guy um, for me I'll give it like a 41 okay yeah I was kind of right in that same realm I'll give it like a, a 41 as well oh, yeah, yeah. but if for what it is yeah right up there tell you what the city and tartan is sort of dying down the more I'm taking sips okay you probably just you get acclimated to such a thing and tell you what fellas do you think everyone ever gets acclimated to us <laughs> no yeah I, uh, fellas I doubt it if you are in the New Hampshire area and yeah. you go to Pipe Dream and your significant other doesn't really adore beer. Um, I feel as you could visit Pipe Dream. Yeah. You could get your beer fix, and they could order this kind of stuff. Well, because from what we understand, like that's their game. Like sours are their like that's what I've heard. Thing. That is what I've heard. Not the ones we've had so far are freaking spot yeah. on. So, All right. yeah. uh, down the description below, I feel like beer reviews on Untapped. No, my Untapped. Mike's Untapped. Hey. I feel like beer reviews on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube's. Uh, have you had Pipe Dream? Do you live in New Hampshire? Do you like Pipe Dream? Do you like Bomb Pops? 
Got any funny stories that remind you about bomb pops, popsicle stick jokes? Yeah, we're, Mitch Hedberg, Roddy Dangerfield, yeah. comedians. Uh, let's, we can talk about global warming. I don't care. Yeah, it doesn't um, really matter. Yeah, hit us up. Please. Pipe dream. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank this you so much. Great. We really appreciate you letting us. Try Hopefully, this our uh, antics have not ruined ruined your beer. That's what people are here for. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.